it's cold. It's cold. I can't lie to you, right? There's no sugar coating in those words, you know what I'm saying? But the most important thing to remember about this winter ne, is that it passes, gents. It passes. I'm not, I don't really mean that in like a literal sense, you know what I'm saying, dog? Like, you know, blankets, they're there. They're there. They help with the cold beanies, jackets, be like hoodies, whatever you want to think of that could help you, like, you know, stay warm. But there's a certain coldness that, you know, can't necessarily be overcome, you know what I'm saying, bro? Especially when you're alone. And that's the coldness of, huh, you guessed it, being single. Yes, with being single, you know what I'm saying, you get to alone you get to not actually form a special connection with someone beyond you know familiar level or friendly level you know what i'm saying you cannot have an intimate relationship with people that is the terms and conditions of being single plus side no stress nobody telling you to do what you cannot do nobody hogging the bed and snoring you know what i'm saying you know what they always say uh, less clouds in the sky makes the day brighter <laughs> <laughs> my day is too bright it's too bright i wear glasses these are these these right here i got sunglasses behind my camera bro these right here man yeah i need these because i've been seeing way too many bright days you know what i'm saying bro sometimes you know sometimes that little cloud you know what i'm saying bro like you know a bright day is too it's not aesthetically pleasing you need like a few clouds to make it like you know look a little good and yeah i have no clouds <laughs> Welcome, welcome to today's video as I laugh in insanity that, uh, yeah, uh, gents, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, next week, gents, I turn 20. Damn. I'm sorry. Next week, a few days, and yeah, I haven't held someone's hands in like, <laughs> like three years. <laughs> Look, besides that, besides that, right, you know, with every time I have, like, a situation where I am currently in the dark about everything, you know what I'm saying, you know, there's a story that comes to light out of this, right, and this story means everything to someone else, you know what I'm saying, because, yeah, I wasn't the star of the story, more so I was the one coercing the star of the story, so let's get right into it, right, once upon a time, I was a coach, right, not talking about soccer. You wouldn't see my fat ass on the soccer field. But I was a coach once upon a time. And I'm not talking about soccer. I'm talking about relationships. So to be a coach, one has to have, you know, an outside field of view from the field. You know what I'm saying? One, one has to have been in the field to understand what the field looks like. You know what I'm saying? And I don't feel those conditions. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so... I, mean, I don't know why I feel so, like serious and just rubbish, dog. Because I'm spewing nonsense. But... Look, um, the story itself is not nonsense, it's just the way I'm trying to explain it, bro. So then, let me... Ah, fuck, dog, I don't, I don't want to have to resort to this. Ah, but, yeah. So, I was a coach, right? And being a coach means seeing outside of the field, seeing the plays, seeing how your players are going to, like, you know, make it out on the field, you feel me, dog? You know how someone says, do you play for this side of the team or do you play for the other team, you feel me? When you play for this side of the team, you means you means you go for the opposite gender. If you play on the same, on the opposite, if you play on the opposite side, opposite. Wow! If you play on the opposite side, <laughs> if you play on the opposite side, it means you know you go for the same gender. You know what I'm saying? Which nothing wrong with it. You know, I'm just playing out. I'm just like you know, putting the pieces together for you to understand. So I had a player. You feel me? This player of mine. Wow. You know what I'm saying, bro? This is like prime fucking Vinicius Jr., bro. Prime Ronaldo, prime Messi. You know what I'm saying? This nigga was making all the plays. And that's because I put him in the correct position. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you know how a player's best can only be brought out when if they're put in the best position possible? And that was, that was due to me. That was my doing. I put him in the best position possible. You know what I'm saying? So, let me readjust myself. Sorry. So, I put him in the best position possible. And he was making plays like none the four man's was scoring goals man's was passing the ball man's was you know what i'm saying like tiki taka you know what i'm saying man's was like making sure that the ball like you know played on the field you know what i'm saying he was making sure that the ball had good contact between each players and the ball ladies and gentlemen is not an object if you know you know so this player of mine um 
we go, we go. As a matter of fact, nah, we're not gonna give him a name. We're just gonna go call him player. So player in high school, right? Player and I were like, you know, making sure that he gets enough ball time, you know what I'm saying? So there was a ball that, you know, player was specifically interested in, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to make sure he gets a good feel of the ball, make sure that, you know, he, he has some time with the ball, you know what I'm saying? A good player has good contact with the ball. So he was making contact with this ball and, you know, they were hitting it off. I put him in the best position. And along the, and along the way, as time was going on that specific year, right? He was losing contact with the ball. And, you know, he was, it was, it was stressing the player, you know what I'm saying? He nearly, like, there was a time where my man's nearly lost possession of the ball and the ball went to another player, you know what I'm saying? In most cases, in a soccer case, that would be great, you know, so you can't hog the ball. But he was specifically fond of this, of this ball. So I was making sure that, you know, my player gets the time that he needs. So he, almost, he nearly lost possession. And, you know, he was playing the wrong position. I don't know how he got into the wrong position, but he was there. So my duty as his coach was to make sure that, you know, he circled the field, you know what I'm saying, made sure that he wasn't in an awkward position. Because nothing there's nothing worse than receiving a ball in an awkward position. So I trained the player, you know what I'm saying. I made sure his, his talking skills were up. I made sure he got a haircut. Made sure that, you know what I'm saying, he was focused on his duties, you know what I'm saying. Because once you actually play on the field, off ball once you get into the correct position off ball then when you once you get the ball you can make a play and score you know what i'm saying bro that is how it is that's how the game works so i made sure that his off ball like skills and tactics were, were perfect you know what i'm saying and so once he once he had gone back to the ball finally gained possession again this man's was cooking this man's was prime jamie oliver Prime Jordan, um, fucking Joshua Weissman, prime fucking Jamie Oliver, dog. This nigga did not miss once when he had possession of that ball. And, you know, while, you know, he had possession of the ball, man, he came back to his coach and he celebrated with the coach. He came back to me, he was like, yo, coach, I made the play, I got her, we are going, like, dog. And it was like such a fruitful player ball possession you know what I'm saying it's such a fruitful um like relationship because it was something that even I could be proud of under my wing under my track record record bro like Jose Mourinho I had trophies I had niggas like I had like six five six niggas dog that I made sure had proper position and where are they today enjoying life playing with more balls pause like you know saying putting like making sure they had off ball like you know tactics they had off ball um, situations where they could properly train their skills and once they got possession they executed it to the best of their abilities you know what I'm saying and then guess what they did afterwards they passed it on to the next player you know what I'm saying they're making sure that they were in a team like I was proud of my team but as well as everybody celebrating and the end you know what I'm saying bro I unfortunately was left alone in the cold while I made sure to guide others to a treasure I could not possess while they were warm one, once they found themselves in their summer, out of their winter, I was still left in the winter, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, the saying is coaches don't play. And I haven't played in a while, you know what I'm saying, bro? And it's cold. Like, blankets, jackets, beanies, and the such that I mentioned earlier on, bro, they're amazing for keeping you warm physically. But there's that cold inside of you that doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work. It, it, it's still cold, gents. So like, nah, this winter made me realize that the cold that I have inside me cannot be dispelled so easily, gents. So please, as much as players, players, even if y'all got the ball in possession, y'all have found your summer, go back to your coach and try to help the nigga, you know what I'm saying, bro? Get him something warm, dog. Like, even if a coach doesn't play on the field, bro, just pass him the ball, dog. A little tiki taka with the coach wouldn't hurt anyone. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, hey, if y'all enjoyed today's video, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I did my best. I balled my heart out, you know what I'm saying, for y'all niggas, because I love y'all. Yeah, please be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe, you know? Share with your friends, share with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Especially share it to a coach, because coach, if you're watching this, this is for you. <laughs> Peace out.